Well, there she is, guys. There's the finished product, man. Took me a... Uh, took me more than a couple of months to put this one together, actually. And you can see why. I mean, really, uh, it's a lot of detail, you know? I mean, it's a lot of work to put together a semi-truck tractor. But to make it look weathered, make it look its age or older and rusty and grimy and dirty, it's precisely the reason why I wanted to to film this out here actually because the lighting is, is really the best out here even though it's uh, slightly awkward actually because it's not like uh, I'm in the frickin burbs here or the country so you know there's I'm in the fucking laneway in the back of my building here as you can see and uh yeah. See? No fooling. Yeah. So, I was hoping for some sun, but since uh, it's too much to ask for this uh, this year to have sunshine, or even a sunny day, forget, let alone sun, well, it's still better than... Uh, Still, still fucking Videotron. Damn, that had to be reminding me about how I hate how that fucking company bills you in advance. I don't have the problem with their services, you know? I don't have a problem with my internet service. I don't have a problem with my cell phone service. I got a problem with the fact that they bill people early, like a month in advance. I hate that. I fucking hate that. It's like, yeah, well, you know, we're going to provide you the service for that month, but, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're, we want the money ahead of time. What a crock of shit. Anyway, whatever. I'm not talking about that now. So, you have to buy a special, a special mixture of a brown powder, which looks like curry, and a, um, uh, I guess it's some kind of a thinner to make all this rusting here. Now, when I put it on here, I thought it was a little bit light, like where the exhaust is there, where that smokestack is, and, uh, so what I did is I took some of my acrylic brown, dark brown, that I used to make my paintings, and it voila, you have more of a, a realistic rust, you know? Now the hood has hinges, but I didn't attach it to the frame, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'll just show you that caterpillar motor here. It's funny, this is uh, the third rig that I do, and I noticed that they're always Caterpillar Motors, they're never Detroit's, I don't know why that is. Or Cummins, you know, they're never... Anyway, it's not perfect, it's not a perfect model, but that's the whole point. And actually, the irony of making into this uh, an almost junker, if not that, or the type of truck that really is uh, only used for shunting, in other words, driven locally, um, is that the frame rails, I didn't notice, but when I was putting it together, near the end, I'm like, holy shit. And the fucking frame rails are not even, they're not even, um, even. Like, you know, together they're even, if you look at the truck by, in terms of, they're leveled, but they're not straight together. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Look at the truck carefully here. Okay. Look how the cab is uneven and the front bumper even. You see what I mean? And that's why I couldn't put the hinges onto the, underneath this hood here. Oh boy. Cold ass day to be riding a bike. Hardcore. Yeah. yeah. For all I know, those guys are connected. I mean, especially in this neighborhood. In this fucking neighborhood, anything's possible. You know? Be more fitting if a really old rig went by, you know. 1990s or earlier Western Star or something, I don't know. International. But I love it. It's fantastic. I mean, if somebody wanted to buy this for me, they'd take a shitload of money for me to sell this. There are many, many hours of work involved in this, you know. Even though it's not perfect, that's not the point. I was only striving for perfection in a weathered look, like I said, in, in its age. I mean, even the interior, I, 
I don't know if you can tell, but I went as far as to uh, make it look older, actually, than uh, normal. And you know what? It's funny because I was near the end, and then one of the door handles popped off. So I'm like, shit, man, I want to finish this thing. You know, it's not finished if that door handle's not back on there. So I managed to get another light and go on the ground and find it under my desk. But yeah, let me see if I can show you here uh, before I wrap this up. I don't know if you can tell. See, unfortunately, the camera, like I've mentioned before, when it gets cold or it's in the cold like that, it doesn't want to focus easily. So it's buff on the stick, you know. I'm proud of it. Oh yeah, another, the biggest pain in the ass is putting together these tractor trucks. They're pretty straightforward. I mean, it's more work. There's more parts in the car. But it's really those goddamn mirrors. Big fucking pain in the ass. Very hard to assemble because it's such small parts and it's thin. And and even to glue, you have to re-glue. And it's quite a, quite the job. Even in the front here, if you look at it, you can see it's uneven. Anyway, I'm really proud of it. It's a terrific, uh, terrific piece. And I'll have to make another video about my next project coming up, which is the opposite of this. It's much more simple. Whew. I'll finish with a view here of my alleyway with the vintage, uh, as we say in French, lampadaire, lamppost. And my place is right up there at the top. And Gloria's in my chair, probably sleeping or pretending to. Hey, voila, that's it, that's all. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute, before I finish, Jesus, Murphy. <laughs> I didn't show you the underneath, though. God damn, I was thinking before I finish, sometimes I, I film something and I don't think too carefully. I'm like, I didn't, uh... Anyway, that's about it. It's nothing amazing. So that's it, guys. Hope this inspires you to make something else, something like this, you know. Especially for you younger viewers, you know, who are uh, a lot of you unfortunately addicted to fucking phones and video games and all that. Get out there, do something creative, put something together, man. There's nothing more rewarding than that, frankly. I don't care what it is you're putting together or building. Uh -oh, they're gonna fucking be... Looks like they're gonna fucking be taking this shit apart, that's for sure. Looking at it, it's all over the place, oh my god. Well, mate, that's it, that's all.